This mini lecture is on chapter one of the e-learning and science of instruction book by Ruth Clark and Richard Mayer. We'll be referring to Clark and Mayer often when we talk about chapters in their book. This again is chapter one of the e-learning book. We'll be covering a number of uh, learning objectives, different kinds of learning goals when we're building course units. Sometimes we simply want to inform Sometimes we want to help people perform a particular kind of procedure. Sometimes we want to help them learn to perform more broadly in a more principled way in a, that requires a, a deeper level of sense making and understanding. So inform is about presenting information. People should come away with some familiarity. They don't necessarily need to be learning how to do something. This might be in a situation, maybe in an undergrad course where we're doing an overview of different areas of psychology and the details will come later with respect to how to perform or build skills in psychology. So that's the perform stage. Building skills might be more particular to more routine kinds of tasks and we'll make a contrast there between the perform goals which are more near building procedural skills for tasks that have the same steps each time and low variation across similar or sometimes the identical task that you do over and over again. Sometimes it's just small variations on similar tasks. In FAR transfer, we want to build strategic skills to engage in problem solving tasks. In a problem solving task, the steps vary depending on the problem. And across those tasks, there may be very high variations. You might want a full out simulation where you can do different things to repair the fuel and emissions of this car. Whereas here, it's more of a scripted procedure. So here are some different learning goals that you can reflect on, whether this is a case of near transfer where something more routine is being learned with low variation across tasks or something, or is this a more of a problem solving area which requires further transfer? So stop the video, take a moment, see what your answers to these five are. Okay, uh, if you're back, here are the answers that uh, Clark and Mayer provide in this task. So changing a tire is pretty routine. It's, it's nearly always the same. Now there may be rare circumstances where uh, one of the nuts is rusted and that might turn into a far transfer situation. So these distinctions are not Perfect, but there's a tendency that this is more routine. Uh, making evaluation decisions when you're doing a performance review of a staff member as a supervisor, there's a lot of uh, variation across different staff members, their performance, their, their styles and personalities. So doing that well requires problem solving, adaptive skills to those variations. So that's a far transfer situation. Calibrating some medical device a zygometer is a very new medical device, but it gets used in a reasonably procedural step-by-step -step way that requires near transfer. These last two examples have elements of both because there are routine aspects of flying or baking, but there also can be novel aspects that where there is higher variability that suggest farther transfer.